All right, lads and lasses, welcome back to 100% Mags. And of course, it was my birthday yesterday. So before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I do want to say a massive thank you to everybody uh, for all their birthday wishes yesterday. And most importantly, a massive thank you to my family as well for making it extra special yesterday as I turned 34 years old. This, of course, is one of quite a few gifts uh, I got off me family for my birthday. Uh, of course, you can see it's the logo of the channel. Um, so if you do like this, uh, we can maybe do some sort of merch for the channel. If that's something that you're interested in, uh, then do let us know down in the comments below. Uh, but with that being said, uh, yeah, thank you to everybody uh, for of course, all the birthday wishes yesterday, uh, but also yesterday, um, aside from your birthday, of course, uh, we did get to hear a bit of news coming out from Newcastle United, uh, of course, and Amanda Stavely, uh, most importantly, who put out uh, quite a few different things yesterday, um, and that was because she was out in Jeddah, in, of course, the Middle East uh, for the Bloomberg Live Power Players Summit uh, of 2024. She was, of course, being interviewed out in Jeddah, and she had quite a few things to say about um, what has been going on uh, since they have been the owners and, of course, plans for the future as well. Uh, she even talked about a certain bacon tits uh ex coach if you want to call him that um but she did of course hit on him in the conference as well in the summit talking about uh him a little bit and of course talking about our current manager eddie howe as well and how of course uh she's very happy with the way things are going in newcastle united and where we are going as well uh, what she's not happy at, however, is all of these rules keep coming out. Now, she didn't directly talk about it and directly aim it at anybody, but she did, of course, do it in the Amanda Stavely way, you know, the way our owners are known to do things. And that is, of course, to uh, target it in a different way, not to directly target it at the uh, people but to target it in a different way so that, of course, your message gets across, but you don't get that, you know, trouble that comes with it, uh, targeting it directly at people. Uh, but she got the message across, of course, about what she wanted to say. Uh, she talked in a very diplomatic manner, like Amanda Stavely always does. She always knows what she wants to say, and it's always refreshing to hear as well what Amanda Stavely has to say, because you know you're going to hear something of note. You know you're going to hear something that you wanted to hear, you know, about what is happening at the club. Um, so before we get into the main, main facts, uh, let's get the Brucey boy out of the way. Uh, of course, she said that he didn't, want to turn up to training that in itself i am not surprised at to be honest because you could see the way you know it was going he was quite happy just to turn up to the training ground or not even turn up at the training ground at all uh you know and collect a paycheck for doing absolutely nothing even when he was at the training ground it was like he wasn't there anyway because he was sitting in his office eating a bacon sarnie or something like that you know so it's not like he was there at the training ground anyway. And when he was, you know, the lads weren't doing no training, as we found out already. Uh, so, you know, I'm not at all surprised that he did not want to uh, be there. But, you know, for us, a guy that is meant to be a boyhood Newcastle United fan, he's managing his boyhood club, or so he tells with, you know, um, to not want to be there, it just shows exactly what kind of, mentality that guy's got and i'm so glad to see the back of him we've got a much better manager in there now in eddie howe who was here for the club and it showed that you know and it still shows that now that from the moment eddie got the job 
you know he was uh, at the training ground from 6 a.m in the morning right the way till 8 9 10 o'clock at night you know that is a massive dedication and shows how much he appreciates uh, the opportunity to manage Newcastle it shows the um amount of dedication he's got to the game as well to get better at his craft and that is what makes Eddie Howe the man that he is uh, so I am really really happy to see that we do have Eddie Howe uh, of course at the club instead of that oath that you know was trying to pretend to be a manager uh, you know he couldn't even manage a piss up in a brewery I've got to tell you that you know uh, bacon tits there he couldn't even manage a piss up in a brewery um but moving away from that uh to talk about of course quite a few of the things that amanda stavely talked about uh, she talked about the multi-club ownership and the path that they are trying to go down they've seen it with quite a few different clubs already uh you know the likes of city have done it uh there's also uh palace in there as well i try and get it up on the screen for you guys um there's quite a few different ones yeah you can see up on screen you know you've got arsenal there you've got brentford there who's doing the multi-club model brighton doing the multi-club model uh crystal palace has got quite a few multi-clubs going as well leicester city has even got multi-club ones going uh man city of course have got a lot of multi-clubs uh going as well nottingham forest southampton west ham even as well doing it uh and that is just you know teams that or in the Premier League or being in the Premier League of late. So, you know, there's plenty of teams out there going down this road of a multi-club model. And this is something that Newcastle have already looked at. You know, they're looking at areas like Austria, uh, Australia, Belgium as well. Uh, plenty of different areas, you know. So, who knows? We might see, you know, a Australian League side, Newcastle United Jets becoming a uh feeder club to newcastle united so you know who knows you know only time will tell on that uh, but that is something that of course amanda stavely talked about in the power players uh summit out in jeddah and she said that of course she wanted uh to go down that route pif want to go down that route as well Um also other things that she talked about as well she talked about new rules that have been getting put in you know shock horror there's more rules uh to block um you know ownership spending uh blocking you know third party sponsorships as well and uh, now we thought that this had been sorted you know about third party po uh sponsorships but it looks like the premier league's found some sort of loophole around they found a way of getting their way uh in putting in a block on it you know but that's not going to stop you know certain teams from being able to go out there and get sponsors you know like that uh level at the end of the day you know i feel it is absolutely ridiculous it's childish that they're going down this route you know just to hold teams back it's going to kill teams and that's why amanda stavely said it at the summit you know amanda stavely says that these kind of tactics that we're seeing you know the blocking uh, and the constant updating of rules and changing rules and adding new rules it's just killing the game and it's going to kill uh the game in a whole as well because the game's an entertaining game you know at the end of the day uh you've got to spend money to be able to get places so if you're going to stop people from doing that then that's of course going to cause a massive problem with the infrastructure of the game uh the host who was doing the interview he says that the premier league's uh amount you know for value wise is around about the same as the nh uh, nhl in the american air uh, you know over in america and that isn't even their biggest sport in america you know nfl is the biggest sport over in america american football of course uh but for the premier league to be around the same as the nhl is not very good at all uh, and that shows you know that the lack of ambition in the premier league uh we need to be shown a lot more ambition we need to lessen down the rules 
and stop trying to protect certain teams. We all know the teams that they're protecting. You know, it's the so-called red teams. Uh, Man United, Liverpool, Arsenal. Them three teams are the teams that are being protected by the Premier League, by the FA, you know, by these stupid, idiotic rules being put in by people who just do not understand the game and where the game is going. The game has always been revolved around money. It's always been about the person who has the biggest amount of money. You know, that is how the title is won. You know, we've seen it with Chelsea when they got their takeover. We've seen it with Man City when they got their takeover. We've seen it even in the past, you know, back in the 80s when Little Woods used to run the league. Uh, and, you know, we've seen the likes of Liverpool getting uh, league titles. We've seen the likes of Everton getting league titles. You know, even Man United, when uh, Man U had a point where they were, you know, getting a lot of money in and they were winning the league titles. You know, so don't say money doesn't rule football because money rules football, whether you like it or not. You know, and at the end of the day, we need to lessen these rules down. Uh, but Amanda Savely had some fantastic points uh, she talked about in the summit. Of course, if you want to go check that out, it's on the Bloomberg uh, channel of course on youtube go check that out uh, about 18 19 minutes long you know she's got a lot of information she talks about in there she doesn't of course go into direct detail of what they're going to do in the summer or stuff like that but she does talk about uh quite a few things in you know the way that amanda stavely and all and us do that sort of stuff you know they talk about it in a very educational way and talk about it in a way that doesn't give away what they're going to do but they do try to give you as much information as possible and again you know i've got to say it was a fantastic interview by um amanda Savory and credit to the host as well uh gills turner i believe he was called uh credit him you know because he was asking some fantastic questions really pressing in there on amanda Stavely to try and get uh, as much as he could you know, out of Amanda Stavely, but Amanda Stavely wasn't given too much away, but she was given away just enough what she wanted to give away, uh, of course, of little things like, you know, where they want the club to go. That is what we like to hear. You know, we we'll want to hear that sort of stuff. We we'll want to hear, you know, what the plans are for the future of the club moving forward. And I've got to say, uh, my takeaway from it, was that it sounds very very promising uh we're going to be going on a massive massive road uh to the top with these owners and it's absolutely just you know black and white it's day and night uh when you look at it compared to the old mike ashley ways you know uh it's just completely contrasting uh halves you know at the end of the day uh just fantastic to see that we have these kind of owners leading this club forward they've actually got a plan which is something that you know could never have been said for the previous ownership uh but we've got to see where we can finish this season let's try and finish strong let's try and get europe if we can if not then you know there is no big loss at the end of the day because then that means that we are a team that is only going for a league title, only going for the Cups next season. And if that is the case, you know, then I really do feel sorry for the rest of the teams because you do not want a team like Newcastle United who was banging in goals this season and we've had so many struggles. You know, you do not want that kind of team just going for a league title, just going for the league, uh, for the Cups next season. You know, you want that team playing in as many competitions as possible so it causes a little bit more problem to try and compete on all halves in uh, all competitions but let us know your thoughts you know down in the comments below i don't want to make this video too long of course don't want to ramble on uh, but if you have stuck till the end of the video then please do consider to hit a like share and subscribe to the channel and like i say uh, if you would like to see uh, these turned into merchandise then let us know down in the comments below and i'll see what i can do uh, about that uh, going forward um you know till next time i'll see you all later and how are the lads